everyone. This is OC and Live, your daily show where we wear jackets indoors because we want to look cool. I'm Josh. And I'm Andre. Saying hello and welcome to another episode. Is it cold in here? Uh, that's a nice jacket. Yeah. It's nice. I love how that was like the very first line of conversation that we brought onto the show, too. Well, I figured we should do it because it's not every day you get on there and you have like a, a like a, like a, was that faux fur? I think it's faux fur. Faux fur jacket because, you know, for our PETA audience out there, they oh, would yeah. Or at least, like, if this is real fur, it did not come from, like, an animal people miss. That's true. Just so what I paid for it. I always have the same shirt, but he always wears something that's really cool, and frankly, I've been jealous, and it's oh. it's just not going the way I want it to. So, so, have you ever given someone roses for Valentine's Day? Have you? Uh, once. Once? Did they wilt and die? Uh, like the relationship, yeah. Hey! hey oh, yeah, I like, was gonna say, pots and like, all day. It's cheesy, but like flowers can be a really good, just like yeah. visual indicator Absolute. of the health of a relationship. Wow, starts nice, smells sweet, and then rots away. We're kind of morbid today. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the jacket. So we have Valentine's Day gifts that last a lot longer than roses because we all know that flowers eventually die. I mean, there's so many goth things and like stuff we could start from there, like. Relationships always die. We Your celebrate turn. the ephemerality of our uh, time on this earth together. Wow, that, well, that was... might have been too low for the mic. To no, that was, that was yeah. it. Was exactly where we needed to go. It's just <laughs> over the top for me. All right, so while well, well, we personally love flowers in both their beauty and fragrance, and feel the warm fuzzies when they're presented to a lovely bouquet to someone you love, we believe that flowers shouldn't be the go-to present on Valentine's Day. That's good advice. Uh, it's so easy to point and click your way to a big bouquet and come up with a few pithy sentences to go with the card. In the end, you've racked up 80 some dollars on something that will die in a week. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> expensive, right? And like mini soapbox <laughs> tangent too. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. The thought's nice, but like someone spends 80 bucks on you, you're like, great, I can, I guess I just have to put these in like a visual, like, right? you know, a very immediately identifiable place because otherwise like I just... You know, someone spent eighty dollars for me to like put some trash in my closet right. on the way I for it. Throw it to away. Go to the trash. Yeah, it's just. And the other thing is, my cat sits there and eats the roses that I get my wife. So it's like nah, nah, you hear this gnawing, and then you find the beautifully colored throw up later from her. It's it's great. If you don't it's like cat. modern life is not very kind to floral arrangements. <sighs> it is not, but they're very nice. Do support your local florist because you know we all support small business. But if you don't want to do that, you could always start with cooking classes for two. That'd be a lot of fun. No matter what the skill level, anyone can benefit from a cooking class. By learning new techniques, trying new cookware, and making new recipes from different cultures, so much can be learned that both of you will leave with an appreciation for the food, cooking, and each other. So think about that one. It's oh, not yeah. bad. That one's like, not bad, right? The best gifts give people skills or experiences. Yes. And like cooking classes, both. Right? Yes, I completely agree with that. That is, that is a really good gift. I like that one. See, our writers are everything. Who wrote this one? Who wrote this one? It was one of our friends from Laura back in the day. Fantastic. All right. The other is the booze, or um, paint and sip classes, meaning that you can go painting and you can go drinking all in the same day because why not? I mean, that's the way to do it. Just like, yeah. 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 Why not? Give them an experience. Yeah. You go dr painting, you go boozing. When you're done, you get to keep the art. And if the relationship sours, I mean, you can always take... Like some sort of viral video of you going online destroying it at the end. Yeah, or like repainting the oh, art to like recontextualize the relationship. Yes. I like that one. That one is fantastic. All right, the next would be a National Parks Pass. Well, why not, right? Even if you two break up later, I mean, one of you still gets to go. And if you like going, it's an excuse to go more because like the more you go, the more cost effective the pass is. Absolutely. All right, the next is baking and decorating classes for two. I mean, it's kind of like the cooking thing, but baking's hard. That's chemistry. Oh, baking's, oh, baking's terrifying. Dude, it's hard, yeah. He knows. He, he bakes some, a lot of good stuff. And, I mean, with the success of the Great British Baking Show, it's no wonder that more people are taking up baking and creating sweet treats and sharing them as a stress reliever. And if you're a stress eater like the rest of us, then, yes, that would be somewhere to take them. So there you go. There's a couple of things that you can do with a loved one or – whatever it may be on Valentine's Day instead of giving them roses because it's so morbid. The roses die. Just like little disclaimer though. Yeah. If you are getting your significant other cooking classes, yeah. make sure that they're ready for like the responsibility of whatever dish they're learning how to oh, make. Because, you know, I say a lot, yeah. like being able to make pretzels, 
huge responsibility because like right. then you can have pretzels whenever that's and dangerous it's kind of and those things are there's a lot of work that goes into pretzels i just mean a like lot. you know when you can just manifest pretzels whenever you have to avoid every single meal being pretzels, pretzels. yeah and so like make sure that whatever you and your spouse are going to learn how to cook is like a dish that you can uh be responsible that's about. right with great power comes great responsibility moving on all right all right do you know where this is at those are uh, wings yeah I, you, you do? I don't know. I don't want to spoil it though, because this yeah. is a there's a plot twist here. There is. It, it blew me away. It turns out that this is not a drill. Taco Bell is offering crispy chicken wings for a very limited time. How limited of a time, Josh? Oh my gosh! Well, following the news of its new monthly subscription service, which we talked about, Taco Bell is serving up some more exciting things to come in 2022, and we have three words for you: crispy chicken wings. Right, that's three. Okay. Yes, Taco Bell is adding chicken wings to the menu, and it's not a joke. It's very real, and we're pretty excited. But we must warn you, there is a catch. The crispy chicken wings are only available until Wednesday, January 12th, which is tomorrow. So many may want to jump on the wings before they're, like, gone. You know what I mean? It's like... If, if you've been thinking about it, if this is the first time you've heard about it, mm -hmm. this video is the sign you've been waiting for Forward. to go get these wings. And go, because they end tomorrow. So you've got, I mean, it's not even less than 24 hours. You've got until tomorrow. So go over there, try them, because if Taco Bell thinks you really like them, they might keep them. Yeah. Yeah, they might. You like, don't know. Just consider this. Like, okay. hypothetically, uh -huh. enough people buy these wings. Uh -huh. Now, all of a sudden, there's, like, Taco Bell quality wings available at like 1 a.m. Mm -hmm. Just imagine how much that would change the late night dining ecosystem. It would because yeah. then, I mean, Taco Bell would be on the, uh, like the forefront of wing making. Where else are you going to go for 3 a.m. wings? He's got a point. He has a point. So you have to know tomorrow. where to get like wings at 3 a.m. though. Right. Do comments. Absolutely. Because <laughs> there's been plenty of times we've all been out late and we're like, where do we get food? And it's always one of those weird taco shanties or Taco Bell. That's open. I love Taco Bell. I love Taco Bell. All right. So do you do you do dog sledding? I do not. I, I, I can't say I do either. I, I knew a person that was actually in that big race. The um, Iterod. The Iterod. He had actually been raising these kind of dogs since he was a kid to actually do that sort of race. And I was like, well, that's weird. But if you do want to get into it, we have places where you can go dog sledding in Colorado this winter, assuming it snows again. All right. So with a snowy and cold winter in the forecast for Colorado this season, it's very tempting to stay inside where it's warm and remain curled up. And if you ever want to like do something that encapsulates winter sports, dog sledding? I mean, and for your, what were you going to say? It's a uniquely winter sport. Uh, it has to be. I mean, it's it, the first thing I, I don't think about, like, outdoors for that. I, the first thing that comes to mind is, like, skiing, snowshoeing, but then dog sledding. Either way, and for your convenience, we have listed five places to go dog sledding in Colorado right now. Here we go. First is the Alpine Adventures Dog Sledding. It's actually a place. It's first and foremost a rescue facility for sled dogs. They've taken in retired race dogs from all over the country, and they're helping them find loving homes. But they also provide two types of dog sled tours, including tag sled tours and group tours. That's in Leadville. Check it out. Click on the link. Get more information. Head over there. Then the next is Snow Buddy Dog Sled Tours. They're all tours. I didn't really set that up, did I? Family-owned and operated Snow Buddy Dog Sled Tours offers three dog sled adventures and is focused on treating every guest like part of the pack. It's in Oak Creek, Colorado. Don't even know where that's at. It's got to be west, right? Sounds right. Okay. I feel like if something's cold and high altitude, it's usually like west Colorado. Right. Usually, right? We'd think. The next is the Mountain Musher. That's right. The Mountain Musher is a family-owned and operated company that wants to give its guests an experience they'll cherish. And remember, it's been featured on the Today Show and Colorado's own Colorado Getaways. That's in Vail Valley, Colorado. We all know where Vail is, right? If you don't and you haven't been there, just follow the rich people. Right. Yeah. Google. Google, y'all. Google. Next is the Durango Dog Ranch. Yeah, I've been to Durango, or at least... Well, it's close to there. Whether you're new to dog sledding or you're just a seasoned veteran, Durango Dog Ranch has an adventure for you. Bring the family along and go on a half-day tour. Meet the lovable dogs and enjoy seeing the San Juan Mountains in all their glory. That's in Hesperus, Hesperus, Colorado. I think I said that right. Hesperus. Close enough. I, I tried. I'm probably not going to go on this tour. 
Well, I mean, like, if any of you out there, same thing with the chicken wings. If you've been thinking about dog sledding, yeah. consider this your sign. Absolutely. And if you want the rest of the locations, just click on the link I provided. Also, we just don't know when or if it's ever going to snow again. So, like, you might know, as well. It's been, like, one of the least snowies. Remember when we, we did the show a while back and, like, the Farmer's Almanac was talking about the snowiest... Like it was going to be a real, was that you? Who did that oh, yeah, you? no, I was in here for that. Yeah, I and then I hoped it wasn't a snowy winter. And uh, careful what you wish for, folks. I know, because we only had like one or two significant days of snowfall in Colorado, at least in the city of Denver, like all year. I've only had to shovel my walk once, maybe twice. I don't remember, but I'm pretty lazy. It was like once on New Year's Eve and like, yeah, once, yeah. yeah, yeah, he's right. And then I was home for that and I was like, I'm not going out anywhere tomorrow. I'm not going to, I'm not. I'm not shoveling that. But then all my neighbors did it, and then I had to do it. Ugh. So it sucked. Whatever. Ooh, speaking of dogs. Do you know what Bluey is? Uh, kind of. I don't. Like, like, Caitlin was supposed to come on to me, with me today, but she got busy. Yeah, right? I was going to say, like, I know it entirely because I've seen graphic design, which is yeah. what Caitlin does. Uh, talk about it? Gif it? Yeah, all it's the time. Verb. It is, well, it, Yes, when used in the context of how we communicate at work, because we have to put these little gifts in the channel to communicate stuff. And Bluey comes up like all the time. I, I see it all the time. It's either that or the weird 3D images that, oh. that oh. Uh, Calvin likes to put in there, Ooh, which are the, just... One of these days, guys. We're going to show you those, and you're going to be like, really, Calvin? <laughs> really? We can't wait for you to come back. But so why Bluey? So this is Bluey is one of the best children's shows out there right now. And we were going to make Caitlin do this because she's an expert. She loves Bluey, and now I have to talk about it. And Just channel your inner Caitlin. All right, all right. So we're always looking for new shows to watch, and when I say always, we mean it. We're notorious binge watchers and seem to either finish a series like it's nothing or we start a show only to lose interest about halfway through before moving on to something else entirely. I mean, that's how binging and the whole TV, that's how TV works now. Oh, yeah. Just how it is. It's All right, so ten hour movie. It, essentially, yeah. right? Like I wish they would release all of the Book of Boba Fett one right after the other, but they're making me wait until Wednesdays, and today's Tuesday, and I'm a little angry about that. I'll switch just wait till the end of the season, and uh... that's what I did with the Mandalorian. That's what I did, but I don't know. But now I'm kind of addicted. Either way. Uh, one night, we were roaming through what felt like endless TV streams of TV shows and movies, and I'm unable to find anything remotely interesting. That's when we all heard about an Australian show called Bluey. We'd seen it pop up on Disney Plus every now and then, but figured it was just another kid's show, and we were about to blow it off. And for those of you who are unaware of the sheer adorableness that is Bluey, allow us to give you a brief synopsis. Bluey follows the adventures of Bluey, a blue healer puppy who lives with her mom and dad, ah. Chili and Bandit, and Little Sister Bingo. The series originated in Australia and didn't come to the U.S. until September of 2019, but has since grown quite a following among parents and kiddos. And those without kiddos, present, company included. Whatever. The children's series won numerous awards, including the Logie Award for Most Outstanding Children's Program of 2019, the AACTA Award for Best Children's Program of 2019 and 20, and the International Emmy Kids Award for Preschool 2020, among others. So, a lot of international awards, right? Yeah. Uh, well, we did fall in love with this, according to our writers. It's wholesome, refreshing, cute, and genuinely real all the time. With a couple of days, we were watching all the available episodes on Disney+, Plus, and we're hoping the third season will be added very, very soon because we've already started re-watching the first and second seasons again. Really, Christina? You're watching it again? Maybe there's stuff you missed the first time. Maybe. May, maybe. <laughs> you never know. There could be some, like, deep... You know, though. Those emotional arcs really take yeah. on a new context Absolutely. once you know where they're going. But it does make me want to get some sort of dog and call him Bluey and then name another dog Chili. Or like two cats. I'm those, are, those are great animals. They're names. great names, aren't they? Bluey and Chili? I know that we spend a lot of time like assessing whether or not something's a good name whenever I guest on this show. But, yeah. Uh, good names. Yeah. Bluey and Chili. I mean, who wouldn't want that, right? Bluey and Chili. And you kind of kind of do it with an Australian accent. I don't even know if they have Australian accents. That's the thing. Like, if Christina or Caitlin are here, they'd be like, of course they do, Josh. You're just dumb. They'd say it just like that, too. And if there so. ever was, like, a time for, like, parent-friendly children's cartoons to drop, end of 2019 was a... A good time. Yeah, just real yeah. convenient time. Wasn't it? Like, yeah, because there was nothing really being made, and then, boom, these guys show up, and number one. And then, all of a sudden, like, next year, most parents get to watch a lot of their children's 
oh. programming. So, uh, yeah. I didn't know what the shark, shark something was. Oh, Baby Shark. Baby Shark. Oh. oh, my nephew was totally into that. And he's like, have you seen Baby Shark one day? He just asked me that. And I was like, what's Baby Shark? And then we went to the YouTube. That's, it, it was so surreal seeing that get big here because it was like this weird inside joke in like the ESL community overseas. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. Uh, like, it, it's weird. It, it, yeah. <laughs> it's weird. I, I just... I don't understand kids' cartoons, but I'm also way too old to be a kid anymore. My idea of fun kids' cartoons was He-Man's and the Masters of the Universe. Pretty sure there's... Original series. I was going to say, I'm pretty sure there's new He-Man out there like is. now. There is. And then Thundercats, the original. Thunder. Thunder. If you guys haven't been to our website, you should head over there right away. Our community now. Dot com. Because we've got all kinds of crazy stories like this because we have grown adults who love kids' stuff around here because we're all kids at heart. And that is the beauty of working here, is everybody, you never know what you're going to get. And we get all kinds of diverse backgrounds and age groups, apparently, in our heads. So, Bluey, it's a great little show. Also, don't forget to watch us on our, or find us on our socials. Look for us on The Street Team, Holy Highball, Parental Composure, OCN Eats, What's for Lunch, and Local Biz Buzz. Because every time we put out something cool and we eat lots of fun food, we want you to see it and enjoy it. And then go eat at those restaurants or go hang out with those groups or just go to church. We don't care. We're just here to bring it all to you. Or don't. <laughs> I don't mind either. So that's it. It's Tuesday. We've only got how many days left? That's Monday, uh, Tuesday. So it's th three? three? Three. We're at three. All right. So we got three more days. Let's try to get through the week together. We're almost, dang, we're almost halfway through January of 2022. That's surreal to think about. When you said that, I was like, nah, it's only going to be like, what, the 5th or 7th? No, it's the, the 11th. 11th. Today's the, the 11th. 11th. <laughs> <laughs> those 30-day <laughs> deadlines at the end of the month are coming right up. <laughs> and for those of you with your student loans about to kick back in. <laughs> that is pushed to May. May. It is? Yeah. <laughs> I love it. It was pushed to May or the interest was pushed to May or at least. Um, the f Without giving the full news breakdown here, yeah? the freeze that was going to expire in January now expires in May. Make sure to check with your provider. Yeah, and make sure that all the information is correct. And don't follow any of the advice we give you because... We are not financial authorities. But, right, not at all. Not even close. We're not even good at Bluey. So thanks for tuning in for another episode, gang. I'm Josh. And I'm Andre. Have, saying have a great day. And as always, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe.